Hey guys, it's Sunday and welcome to the Monday meal prep. So I'll prep today for Monday, maybe a couple other days. I am doing a green chef uh, single meatloaf, so like mini meatloaf. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to make some Sid some uh, shrimp fried rice, which I have made a video on before. So maybe just some snippets of that, but not the video is not for that recipe because I have made that for you before. So anyways, we're going to get started and uh, we're going to get our Sunday, Monday milk prep rocking and my word, I had a mess to clean up from last night's fish fry or fish cooking. We didn't fry it. We cooked it on the barbecue, but it was fabulous and we had a great time sitting outside just hanging on the back porch. So uh, let's get this day started. See you in a few. All right, so I had to find the green chef card. So, okay, mozzarella stuffed meatloaves. Sure. I don't know, we'll see. So, while you're looking at the picture, I'm reading the back. <clears throat> Preheat your oven to 400. Does this mean we're using a bunch of dishes? Okay, it's meatloaf, we have to use that's fine, 400. Preheated. Uh, cut off ends of yellow onion and discard peel. Da, da, da. Okay, well, you know what? Let's get the ingredients out. So, what do we need? We need a small and a medium saute pan. Baking sheet. Medium bowl. Measuring cups and spoons. Thermometer and an oven mitt. Alright. I'm going to let it go. There's 10 ounces of ground beef in here. Well, I've just got news for Green Chef because we're going to blend some of our own meat with it because there's three people to feed and this is two per serving. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, mozzarella cheese. We're going to use some extra uh, tomato and roasted red pepper sauce. Italian seasoning. Rainbow chard. Cremini mushrooms. Crushed red pepper flakes. Yellow onion and garlic. Okay. Let's open our little trusty bag. And here is the 10 ounces of meat. Like, that's gonna feed two people, apparently. All right. Ripping it open. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, it's a little bit of big old onion in here. We're gonna only use part of that. Wow, this is make a mess too. Okay, I didn't just clean up. That's fine. Um, and here are our mushrooms. We have some garlic. Okay, <laughs> our mozzarella cheese. Oh, wow, that's a little tiny bit of cheese. Okay. Um, our organic Italian seasoning. We have some crushed red pepper flakes. Yummy. Little kick. And this is the organic tomato and roasted red pepper sauce. Actually, it looks yummy. Just remove sticker, clean, dry, and drop off. Oh, they want us to recycle. Okay, got it. I was wondering. Okay, are there more instructions? Okay, so we got this. I'm going to see what I have to chop, which I'm sure I've got to chop the onion and the mushrooms. And we'll get started. See you in a minute. Sorry, guys, about the awful camera position, but I'm missing a piece of my tripod. I think I took it to work and I left it there. So we are going to clean these mushrooms. Um, just a damp washcloth. Just wipe them clean and then we have to chop them up yay we just love chopping stuff I really don't mind I'd... okay so what we're gonna do is add some additional um, grass-fed beef to the recipe and some extra mozzarella cheese oh. okay um, 
And then we're going to be able to stretch this for three instead of two people. If you wanted to make it for four, you could do that too. Just mimic the ingredients and add extra because the Italian seasoning, I mean, that's super easy. Red pepper flakes, who doesn't have those? And um, some mozzarella cheese. Like, these things are readily available. For the, the tomato and roasted red pepper sauce, I'm going to add some more tomato sauce and a little red pepper flakes additional would fix this right up. Okay. So, our mushrooms are cleaned. We're going to chop those up. Um, we're going to chop up this. This is a ginormous onion for this recipe, so I'm not sure if they meant just use half of it, but it says, let's read it. Preheat your oven, cut the ends off the yellow onion and discard the peel. Half long ways, lay flat and slice lengthwise at about a quarter inch thick strips. Uh, remove the center of the uh, rainbow char, which I'll go get out of the fridge in just a minute. Um, slice the stems into about a quarter inch pieces and roughly chop leaves. I just wipe the cremini onions and we can remove the stems and slice into quarter inch thick slices and then mince the garlic. So we're good. Okay, next thing is to make the ground beef mixture for the... Oh, they want us to use the tomato sauce for... You know, I don't like tomato and... Okay, well... Maybe I'll just make two because I don't like tomato sauce and um, meatloaf. I don't know. We'll see. You know how I am. On the fly. Hey guys. Okay, we're going to take care of this shard. So they want us to cut the stem out, which you just take your knife along the stem line. And then I just put my hand here. Um, to the thin part so get the rest of that out okay so we're going to chop this up in just a second then we'll just cut this into a quarter inch pieces so we're just going to chop the stem kind of like a celery so to speak No, I don't have the best knife skills. Sorry. I'm a culinary school dropout. Not really. <laughs> I've never been to culinary school. I wish I did. I probably would have loved that. I probably would have like been valedictorian of culinary school for sure. Okay. So we got this. We're gonna put this on our little plate of cut up veggies. Which let me let you show, show you that. So we got our onion. I want this slice and strip, so we've got that slice. We've got our garlic here and our mushrooms. And I'm gonna just pile that stock. Stocks of the chard. Okay, so for the chard, let's get this all. We're gonna layer this all together. Then another piece. And take this and just roll this up like an egg roll. Just keep grabbing the pieces that are loose. And then, I'm just gonna chop it like this into strips. Okay, so we'll just like, we'll, and then we're just gonna take a rough chop through and get everything like halved up. So we'll have like spaghetti noodle length strips. There we go. So, make quick work of that. And we're getting on to the next step. We're gonna make the meatloafs. See you back in just a minute. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. So, what came with the milk kit was this. This is 10 ounces. This is for two meatloafs. But, because we're gonna try to feed three, this is 16 ounces. So, five and a half ounces each meatloaf, so to speak. So we're gonna use this, and I'll save that for a burger for someone. Where's my scissors? Oh, it's like, where are my scissors? So we're gonna get this in a bowl, and we're gonna start mixing the ingredients together, and as soon as I get this out of the package, I'll bring it back, and we'll see what we got going on over here. All right, I'm gonna take this um, tomato packet, since it only wants us to use a portion of it. 
cut it open and I'm gonna put it into this little glass bowl that I have here. Try to get as much of it as we can. So I have my meat here in the bowl. Oops, maybe move everything over so you can see. Okay, so I do not, I'm not a fan of tomato in my meatloaf. I like brown gravy with like seasonings and Italian seasonings and onions, not tomato. More of a brown gravy on my meatloaf kind of girl, but we're just gonna go with the flow because I didn't buy this box. Christina did, so I'm just gonna try to go with the recipe because it's not mine. So hmm, here's what it is. All right. Mm. Water is life. Okay. So let's see what we're gonna do. We got into medium bowl. We're at about a tablespoon of this mixture. Yes, I know you're probably thinking, why doesn't she read ahead and already know what she needs to do? Because no, if you bought this milk kit, like you're not gonna sit there and read ahead. Like you're gonna do it as it. Okay. We're gonna season with Italian seasoning and some salt and pepper. So. We have their Italian seasoning mix. Go ahead and put that in there. And because we have more meat, some brown. All right, let's get some salt and pepper in here. I can't believe I left my salt and pepper at work. Why did I take it? I don't know. Okay. But we will make this work, okay? Alright, so here's some pepper. One with extra because of that extra meat. And some salt. Okay, get that. Peppers in, in my fingers. What are we doing now? Uh, mix thoroughly and evenly distribute the seasonings. Yikes, we need a spatula. Be back. All right, mixing this up with my spatula. I'll end up using my fingers in the end, I know this, but just trying to avoid it as long as absolutely possible. Sorry about the angles. I know, it sucks. All right, let's just do it. Ah! I'm surprised I didn't have us add an egg. It's really, okay, well, whatever. So we're gonna foil a cookie sheet. And then we're gonna just lightly spray it with some um, either avocado or coconut or extra virgin olive oil. Let's make sure everything's all mixed in here. Okay. It smells really good. Okay. So I'm not gonna touch my camera, so you're gonna hear me washing my hands. Sorry. Probably gonna get them dirty again, but that's all right. So let's see what we have to do. You wanna form your meatloaves. Form meatloaf mixture into two rectangular shapes, about one inch thick. Press half of the mozzarella cheese in the center of the meatloaf and pinch enclose the cheese. Repeat the process. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go get my cookie sheet, get some foil on it. I will be back. All right, got our cookie sheet. We're gonna split our meat into thirds, so I'm just kind of make it into a so I can judge what a third is. So we're gonna cut it like let's say this, 
and this. Eh, maybe. There we go. Okay. So let's take out the whole meatloaf. We're gonna pat, we're gonna pat it out into a rectangle. I'm gonna press in the center just a sad. And then we're gonna use half of this and one half of the other, and then I'm gonna make a third and I have my own mozzarella to add for that one. Want anybody going light on the cheese? Wow, if I can get it into it. Make sure it's sealed up tight. Pinch the ends too, don't forget. Okay, so let's keep pinching. And then let's just turn it over and kind of pat it down. So the seam's on the bottom. I'm gonna do this two more times and I'll be back. Hey guys, okay, so we have our meatloafs. Yeah, some are longer than others. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. So we got these, we're gonna throw them in the oven. Let's see how long we cook them. 15. Hey guys, okay, so we have our meatloafs. Yeah, some are longer than others. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, so we got these, we're gonna throw them in the oven. Let's see how long we cook them. 15. Hey guys, okay. Good lord, I'm a hot mess today. Okay, so I have our meatloafs formed and my battery died, so we're putting these in the oven. Okay, so let's see what we do now. We are going to cook these for roast for 15 to 18 minutes. Okay, Bixby. Can I get a timer for 16 minutes? Okay, I started the timer. Perfect, okay. So what are we doing next? Um, baking the meatloaf. Okay. Caramelized onions. Heat about a tablespoon of cooking oil in a small saute pan over medium heat. Add onion to hot pan. Season with salt and pepper and cook for three to four minutes. Reduce heat to medium low. Add two tablespoons of water. Cook five to six minutes until the onion is slightly brown, stirring occasionally, remove from heat. Then we're gonna do the mushrooms and the chard. Okay, I think we got it. Figure it out. Never read these ahead of time. Let me see how I can get you guys over there because I don't have my usual tripod. I lost the piece. I think it's at work. I think it's at work. So anyways, so we're gonna move over to the skillet or we're gonna move over to the stove and then we're gonna get started on finishing up our green chef recipe. What? I'm super excited. I think these are pretty good. I'm not a fan of tomato sauce, but we, we'll figure it out. Okay, so I am going to move over there and then we will get started on the rest of our mozzarella stuff meatloaf green chef dish. See you in a few. All right, guys, here we are. We're over at the pan. We're gonna get our stove on. Oh, wait, I'm gonna burn the house. Okay, so we're gonna get us some oil in the pan. Let this get heated up. We'll get our onions in here. Should be interesting. Hmm, what do we want to use, tongs or spatula? I'm going to opt for my silicone tongs, which I love. And here in just a little bit, I'm going to get started on the um, 
shrimp fried rice for Sid and it's with actual rice so it's not keto but I did make a video on it already but you can totally make it keto using poly rice it is completely interchangeable so no sad faces you can make it too so we're just gonna let this heat up let's turn that up a little bit is that better okay all right I don't have my usual tripod so I'm a little off my game here I'm just gonna let this get heated up it's getting hot pretty quick so we'll be good to go here in just a few minutes the noise you hear in the background is Sid watching NASCAR this is what we live with when the, during the off season hmm? starting to sizzle a few pieces of onion that got into the rainbow charge so I'm just thought I'd use those as a test so I have our veggies here see so we're just going to start taking our onions over here put them in Some more, some more. Okay. It's not going to be a big deal if one little thing or the other gets mixed in with it, but trying our best since it is a kind of follow recipe. Okay, so I'm just going to break these up the ones that are still put together from being cut up. Alright, so. Let me get the directions again so I can remember what I'm supposed to be doing with this. Okay. Heat. Over medium high heat. Add the onions to the hot pan. Season with salt and pepper and cook for three to four minutes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some Himalayan sea salt. Pepper. Alright, I think we're good. Give these a big swoosh around. I don't like these green ones. What is that about? I fit the off at all. Hmm? This one? Okay. Oh. Getting these all cooked up. I know it's kind of loud. So we're going to cook these for three or four minutes. Then we're going to lower them down to medium low and add two tablespoons of water and then cook for five to six minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that business. I don't think you need to watch it. So I'm just going to let these. All right, guys, we moved the onions to the back and it is on low so that it can do its thing. But they did get a good color on them it out okay so they're just I put added the water and now they're just kind of hanging out so let's see what we do now with this big saute pan we need to heat about okay wait let's try to measure. heat one and a half tablespoons of oil in a medium saute pan over medium heat okay we're on medium and let's get our oil in there one and a half I just eyeball this I've been doing this for so long so not serious um, but we're gonna heat that up and then we're gonna add the char the mushrooms some salt and pepper all the char stems okay got it and we're gonna cook those for five to six minutes and we're gonna stir them occasionally we're just gonna let I'm gonna turn this up just a tad for a minute so we can get it heated up okay and then we're going to add the garlic and the red pepper flakes Oh yeah, they're under the, yeah, got it. Forgot I hit them with the stems and cover our garlic. Cause if that goes into soon, it will burn for real. Like not even playing. And burnt garlic is so bitter. It's not even a cute thing to play with. All right, so 
There's a couple onions in here, but this will all be, that's good to go. I mean, if I had my way, I'd add onions to this anyway. Not my red, not my monkey, not my circus, Christina. All right, so give our onions another quick stir. They look fabulous. We only have a couple more minutes and then we only have like four minutes left for our meatloafs. So let's see how we're doing here. Heating up. Mm, not quite yet. Here, let me throw. Not ready. I need to hear that sizzle. There we go. All right, so we're going in with our char with our charred stems and our mushrooms. Yeah, my favorite sound. I love that. Okay, got this in there. Our mushrooms and our garlic is gonna hang out here on this plate for just a little bit longer. And this is all veggie, so we can use the same. My silicone tongs, we can use the same one. Sorry about the angle, guys. I know it sucks. All right. You could see what you're sitting on, and you guys would be laughing. It's actually a tamale pot. You are sitting on a tamale steamer. Struggle is real. All right. So, refresh what we're doing. We're going to cook these for five or six minutes until they're tender, and the garlic and the red pepper flakes. And then we are going to add the char leaves with a quarter cup of water and we're going to cook it for two or three minutes. And then that's it, salt and pepper. And then we're going to plate our dish. We are cooking with Crisco, not really. We're cooking with olive oil. <laughs> Does Crisco make olive oil? I don't know. The noise you hear in the background is Sid is watching NASCAR. This is my life here in the off season of football. Curling, yes, it's a thing. And yes, we actually watch it. Um, we've watched, of course, a lot of NASCAR. What was he watching the other day? He watched poker. Babe, what was the ridiculous sport you were watching the other day? The ridiculous sport you were watching the other day. And I'm like, really? Oh, bowling. He was actually watching bowling. Curling and bowling. You watch, remember you were watching bowling? Yeah. I was telling our subscribers how during the off season you struggle for sports. So, five or six minutes. And, well, it looks good. These mushrooms look amazing. Oh my gosh, you see that? Real charcin. These kind of remind me the stems. They kind of remind me like of a celery. I'm sure it will be amazing. The only thing about these Green Chef meals that I really kind of have to critique is that they're great fresh. But sometimes when you reheat them, you struggle because if you don't like kind of undercook them and then you have to like warm them up they sometimes are not delicious like they get t the meats get tough or things like that this one probably hold up i don't know about this whole charge thing i mean i should have probably done this part at work because we have an electric skillet and just taking this to work raw and it's done this at work but there's our timer Get it. Ooh. Wow, a lot of the mozzarella leaked out. Not what I wanted, but you know what? It is what it is. Get this. I don't think we're done yet, but let's take a peek. I'm gonna put them in for another few minutes, but there you go. back in. I'll just send my microwave timer for two minutes. So we don't forget about them. Okay. All right. So 
think we have put these. The desired time. We're going to add our garlic. We're going to add some. Yeah, I have a better pepper, but it's, I think I left it at work. I left a lot of stuff at work. I said a cuss word, sorry. Not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, some salt. Okay. And now we're going to add our rainbow char leaves and a fourth a cup of water. So let me grab that real quick. Just for three minutes, and then we're going to wait. That's it. This, we're done. We're just gonna let this cook for two or three minutes, and then we're gonna get this all on a plate. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous. Super quick. It was like if my battery hadn't died, I'd have been done with this a long time ago. All right. So I'll plate this up. I'll bring you guys back. We'll see how it all looks and how it turned out. in a few fresh red pepper flakes we almost forgot them goodness gracious all right Here goes all right there we go we're just gonna let this cook a couple minutes and plate it up I'll see you then hey guys oh I'm struggling with this camera today. Here we go. Look at that. Caramelized onions. The rainbow chard and the mozzarella stuffed meatloaf. I don't know. It looks delicious. All right. So this is what we got going on. Fabulous. Turned out fabulous. Hey guys. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. I want to thank you for watching my channel. And if you could subscribe and hit the bell notification next to it, it knows you that you know, sorry, so you know when I uh, upload a new video. And thank you so much. Bye, guys.